Ketones are a compound that can provide the body with energy. Ketones are produced when the body breaks down fats and proteins. The usual reason for ketones being produced is when the body has used up all its stores of sugar. The NHS states that without sugar readily available, the body must find energy from another source, and so it uses ketones to break down fat for energy. In type 1 diabetes, there is another reason why ketones are produced, high blood sugar. Strictly speaking, the lack of insulin is the reason why ketones are produced in type 1 diabetes. The body has loads of energy in the form of sugar, but without insulin, the glucose can't get into the cells to provide energy. As a result, the body switches to providing another form of energy, ketones. As with many things in the body, ketones are safe as long as the body doesn't produce too much. Long-term research studies, such as an eight-year study carried out at the John Hopkins Children's Centre, have shown that ketones are not inherently dangerous at low levels. For most people, high ketone levels are relatively rare, but people with type 1 diabetes are at greater risk, especially if blood glucose levels go too high. Ketoacidosis is a dangerous state which happens if ketone levels become too high. The signs of ketoacidosis include dehydration, laboured breathing and vomiting. Ketoacidosis, because it's serious, should be treated as an emergency and calling for medical help is advised. You can test for ketones and this is something that people with type 1 diabetes find really useful particularly during periods of illness or if blood glucose levels go over 50 millimoles per litre. Ketone testing can be done with some urine test strips and blood glucose meters occasionally test for ketones too. If high ketone levels won't come down, contact your medical team for advice.